Desktop Mate is an application recently released on Steam that allows you to have a little companion character roaming around your desktop. They can sit on top of windows, follow your cursor, and more. Chances are if you're watching this, you'd like to have your personal VR chat avatar in place of the default character. So today, I'll show you how to modify Desktop Mate to allow for custom characters and convert your existing VR chat avatar to a Desktop Mate compatible one. The first step is to mod the software using Melon Loader. Go to the Melon Loader GitHub repository linked in the description and download the latest release. Once downloaded, launch the Melon Loader installer. In the list, look for Desktop Mate. If you don't see it in the list, click Add Game Manually and navigate to where you installed Desktop Mate. After installation is complete, close Melon Loader. Launch Desktop Mate and allow Melon Loader to generate the required files. Once done, the app will start as normal and you can close it. Next, go to the GitHub repository for the custom avatar loader mod and download the latest release. Then, navigate to your local files for Desktop Mate. You can easily do this by right-clicking it in your Steam library, then clicking Manage, then Browse Local Files. Open the zip file for the Avatar Loader mod and extract the contents of mods into the Mods folder and User Libs into the User Libs folder. After that, launch Desktop Mate again. Click on the character and press F4. If a prompt opens looking for a VRM file, the mod is installed correctly. Now we can move on to converting your VR chat avatar to VRM for use in Desktop Mate. We'll be using the Uni VRM package to convert our avatar in Unity. Download the Unity package from the GitHub repository and import it into your Unity project. I recommend turning your avatar into a prefab and creating a new scene. Import your avatar into the scene and remove anything on the avatar that you won't need for your desktop mate model, such as anything VRChat specific. In the top toolbar, under VRM0, select Export VRM0. In the window that pops up, drag your avatar under Export Root and fill in Title, Version, and Author. Export the VRM somewhere outside of your Unity project, such as your desktop. Once it's finished, create a new folder in your Unity project and import the VRM you just exported. A bunch of assets will be generated for you. Import your generated prefab into the scene. You may notice that the materials on your VRM converted model are much different. VRM does not support VRChat specific shaders such as Poyomi, so you'll need to convert your materials to a VRM compatible shader, such as Mtune, which is built into UniVRM. Next, we'll customize the blend shapes so your avatar and desktop mate will show expressions. Select your avatar, and in the inspector, scroll down to VRM Blend Shape Proxy, and double-click on Blend Shape Avatar. In the inspector that pops up, you'll see a preview of your avatar's head, and an array of default blend shape clips. For each vowel clip, set the blend shape for the appropriate vowel to 100. Also customize the blink blend shapes, as well as the emotions if you wish. If your avatar used Fizzbones, the VRM Springbone component can be used to achieve similar functionality. Finally, go back to the VRM exporter and export the avatar again. Open up Desktop Mate, press F4, and navigate to your exported avatar. Your custom avatar should immediately pop up on your desktop. And that's all there is to it. If you run into any problems and need some assistance, feel free to reach out on our Discord. That's all for now, see you next time.